Hey everyone, my name is Mike Lamb, uh, and I am an associate professor of computer science at James Madison University. My research and teaching kind of sits at the intersection of three sub-disciplines in computer science. So the first of these is high performance computing, which is about applying large scale computation to solve some of our greatest problems like climate change and modeling uh, novel pandemics uh, and viruses. Uh, the second area is program analysis, which is the area of taking a computer program and analyzing it in some form uh, and perhaps producing a, a different form of the program. So a compiler is an example of a program uh, that performs uh, this sort of analysis. And the third category is systems tools. So systems is kind of the foundation for all of the sorts of uh, projects that I work on uh, that span all three of these areas. My specific interest is in the area of floating point mixed precision. So you may be familiar with the difference between single precision and double precision. These are two different formats that are used for representing real numbers in binary and doing arithmetic with them. And the de decision to choose between these two uh, levels of precision illustrates one of the common themes in systems design, which is that it involves a trade-off. So with more bits, you'd get more accuracy, but it will also take longer for the computation to uh, converge. Uh, and so in, even in uh, a lot of the modern architectures for doing arithmetic, it's a lot faster to do computation in single precision if that's possible. And so a lot of my work has looked at, well, how can we understand how this computer arithmetic is happening? And how can we identify places where perhaps we can use a lower precision in order to improve performance without sacrificing too much accuracy? So uh, the method that I used to go about this research uh, is kind of uh, as follows. So and it starts with an idea or a question. Uh, and a lot of times these questions and ideas come from talking to other people, which is why it's really important to collaborate and to share ideas with other people. Uh, a lot of the best ideas come out of just random casual conversations before or after a meeting or a conference or a workshop. So for instance, you know, uh, one idea is I really wish I could visualize the accumulation of floating point error through this routine. And then uh, at that point, once you have an idea, you start to explore what other people have done. Uh, this is sometimes called a literature review. And you start thinking about uh, what other, what kind of some solutions there are. Uh, if there are prior solutions, what are the shortcomings of those solutions that I might be able to address with my work? Uh, and then you begin to find a framework for your solution and, and, uh, and how to implement your idea. Uh, once you kind of have all that, then you start doing the work of actually building things. So in computer systems, uh, we get the joy of actually building a lot of things from scratch or, or on top of other frameworks. So be it this hardware or software, in my case, it's, it's usually software. Uh, but this involves you know, writing a lot of code, running a lot of experiments. And then once you have some nice results, then you share those results and the cycle kind of starts all over again. So I've done this on uh, several different projects over the years, and they all kind of sit in the same space of analyzing floating point arithmetic and trying to identify places where you can reduce precision without sacrificing accuracy. The details here aren't terribly important, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of the uh, sorts of things that uh, you can work on in this area. Uh, and then there's a diagram at the bottom. Again, the details aren't uh, important, but one recent effort has been to start integrating multiple tools together in order to solve even larger problems. And this is an instance where the, the whole is more than the sum of the parts. As we start integrating different subsystems, we build up larger, more complex systems that solve larger and more complex problems. There are a lot of systems concepts that inform the work that I do, uh, ranging from CPU architecture, which involves things like uh, the instructions uh, or the uh, the binary representations that we talked about earlier, uh, SIMD parallelism, which is uh, sometimes called vector parallelism, which is the way that you get a lot of uh, performance when doing uh, a lot of complicated math, floating point representations, which we talked about earlier, assembly and machine code, which is sort of the low level representation of a computer program, binary instrumentation, which is the process of taking a compiled program uh, and uh, injecting some sort of other code into the program, perhaps as it's even running, in order to gain information about the program. Uh, compiler and tool integration uh, in order to get more information about the program structure and what's going on in the program. Performance analysis to figure out where the program's bottlenecks are, where we can potentially apply optimizations that involve floating point code. And finally, virtualization 
uh, in order to take a solution and have it run on multiple platforms to be able to widen the scope of what we can address with our research. So I hope that this has been a little bit of a taste of uh, what I do. Uh, I am really excited about the work that I do and my areas of computer science. All my projects are open source and available on GitHub if you'd like to check them out. Uh, you can find them all from my personal website, which is available at this URL, or using this QR code. Uh, feel free to drop me a line if you're interested in any of my work. Uh, I'm always interested to hear from people. We don't have a PhD program uh, at my institution, but I'm always interested in hearing from other students who uh, are looking at the kinds of things uh, that I like to look at and then working on the kinds of problems that I like to work on. Um, so uh, in any case, I hope you've enjoyed this little introduction and uh, I wish you the very best of luck in whatever career path you find yourself in. Cheers. <laughs>